gentlemen. In just a few moments, the library doors in front of you will be opening. Please stand back from the doors as they will be opening toward you. Thank you. <laughs> He's trying to be so sweet. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Hollywood, 1939. Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business elite. Something is about to happen that will change all that. The time is now on an evening very much like the one we have just witnessed. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard, because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. Uh, can I can't everyone in the back row, please, one of the me. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. Shaft is darker and the right shaft is brighter. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. Is that the right one? I hope. 
All right, I got somebody else's. <laughs> I think that's it. I'm not sure. Is that us? No. Or they just scanned in the wrong one. <laughs> Another manly picture. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, maybe the other screen, yeah. also just go on everyone's magic band. Yeah, okay, why not? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, I just got a whole bunch of strangers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see if the doll's eyes can. Yeah, put them up. Maybe if we just do a